Hello guys, we're at Thought Park Resort today with me! And it's Fright Night, so we've got loads of scare events and stuff. It, it's one scare event, we've got loads of scare attractions and stuff. And the first ride we're going to do is one of the scariest here. Death Charge. I don't have good tolerance for spinny rides! Do a flip. Life would be He's a boingy boy. Wait, no, you're actually not going to try a flip, are you? Oh, no. On the evidence of what we're about to see, he is a blithering idiot. Yeah, nice flip, man. Three weeks later. That was close though. Is it? Chicken Chicken girl. Girl. Oh yeah, go on then. He's gonna have to go to the hospital. Oh, that was Over there is Lego Sea, and it's pretty much right by the sea. Do you get it? Because there's a beach. Yo, we're at Ford Park for Lego Sea. We're going on the mazes, they cost mega P. Oh, what? There's nothing more. <laughs> this looks very cool. I wonder what happens if I knock on the door. Nortia Udarad Gur. What? Someone just said that's the tallest coaster in the world. You're a smart man. Are you a like and fault man or an amity man? Amity. Why? Why not? If you come down here next to the Amity High Bus, you can see, you see, this is actually the new logo for Exodus. Oh, that's so bad. What's the fastest type of food? What? Scum! You did it a bit early. I'm having deja vu. The last one to bottle flip it has to ride the Smiler. I told you, I'm fine. Now we were about to head on the best ride on park. <laughs> Very funny joke. But it's kind of died. What do we have to say to that? It's not flying anymore. It's rolling back. <laughs> That's not where you're supposed to park, mate. Wait, can someone come and get their fix? So we're going to start off right night's attractions with the one and only, the best thing here. Terminal, so excited. So we have just come out of the terminal, the shipping container ride. It's not even a ride. It's not a ride, you fool. Get it on me, get it on me. Yeah, it's really, really. So basically it was quite <laughs> weird. I think that's the one way of describing it. It's very um, weird. Yeah, very weird, weird as in bad. I don't know how to feel about it. It was just really confusing and the storyline doesn't make any sense. And I feel like Sorry, my ears... Do you want to be in the vlog, Cal? Wow. What did you think of Terminal? You just did it. Yeah, like me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just went on Terminal. Uh, yeah, sure. We're going into our first maze. That one. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. It's probably going to be the same as every other time I've done it, but cool. Oh, oh. how was that? Oh. So we just came out of trailers. Ew, yeah, scary trailers as well. Ew, very scary. Yeah. Um, Bozo's was probably better during Carnival, which is something to say. Yeah, okay. He, he is right. Oh no. Uh oh. We've just. There's been an encounter. Oh god. <laughs> very creepy. We're going into Death Doors. She's meeting Sam Costello. Well, I would actually say that in the daytime was the best thing we've done so far. Better than trailers. I really enjoyed that. It's a really good scare zone, isn't it? Yeah, it was actually. We're heading to survival games. What do you think of this? What does it look like? How do you feel? Why are you here? Why? Get out the vlog. So we have just come out of survival games and I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little bit underwhelmed, purely because I guess it may have just been my run through, which is fair enough, it may have just been my run through. A lot of people have said it's very scary. I saw about four or five of the same actors in there constantly. 
and I just, I, I wasn't too scared. I don't know! I think the concept is really cool, the fact you get lost and stuff, but I feel like there needs to be more actors, and maybe a bit more guidance. It's time for Crows, Malkin, Meadows. Excited? I'm Sam. Hello. It's my farm in the Cotswolds, nestling among the... It's not safe, guys. Sam, you're leading the way. Wait, hang on. Oh my Jesus! We're literally, wait, hang on, we're in the saw alive. It sunk! Oh my God. That was the big scare. It's time. I'm getting weird looks by the actors. It's time to go into the sawmill. Hello. What do you want? I was going to say hello. Not disrespecting my mum. No, I'm going to go visit your sawmill. She is a vulnerable old We. What I do is I shove the light bulb in your mouth. Rocky Express. But the queue line has been so well kept. It's a log flume. <sighs> Out of Creep Free was very good, that good that I fell over on the exit and I've now been treated by first aid, which I didn't catch the woman's name, but Sam, legend, not Sam Costello, he's, he's useless. I've really hurt myself, but we moved good maze, very good fun. I injured myself in your sawmill. Clearly not enough, your finger's still out. Yeah. It's a peaceful 1,000 acres. <laughs> It's Is it safe here? No. This looks so cool at night. I'm hyped. Oh, there's a crow. <laughs> I thought that was a real one for a second. It really shook me up. Is <laughs> some copyrighted music. They changed costumes. And after the Amity show, my phone died. So what we did next, I couldn't vlog. We went through death doors again at night, which was very good, very cool, very scary. Had a lovely ride on Nemesis Inferno. Sorry, would you like to buy one then? And then headed back to try survival games again because I was very disappointed and I wanted to see if it was any better. And lo and behold, it was a lot better. A lot more actors, a lot more interaction. A big shout out to all the actors at the event and in that maze because it was crazy. So besides getting multiple cuts and bruises on my hands, arms, legs, it was a very good night. I'm really annoyed I fell outside of Creek Freak, but it was funny anyway. A massive thank you to all the staff slash actors and obviously the first aid staff as well that did come over and help. It's much appreciated. And yeah, that's another vlog done. You can click here if you want to see another one. That one looks cool, doesn't it? It's about an underground theme park in London.